I watched Mythbusters. Wow. And I remembered how fine Carrie was from Mythbusters. Dude, she's so fine. Dude, why are you such a creep? <laughs> like... <laughs> What do you, you ever? Need? I'm sorry, Jesse. Do you ever stop and like think about how you're different than what a person <laughs> should be? I'm not. Like you're I'm a just creep. I'm just a red-blooded American. You're a red-blooded creepy have... man. Well, Jesse. Uh. Do you know they just had a Persona Three remake just came out? I saw that on Steam. It was all over Steam, and I was like, I didn't know that was a thing, a big thing. Oh, one That's the one where they notoriously kill themselves, right? <laughs> to, 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 to I don't, their, I don't uh, know. Like, I've never played it, but I really want to. That's what I've heard. It was pretty controversial because in like Japan, that's like a normal thing, but everywhere else, it's not okay <laughs> to talk about teenage suicide. Now, here's the thing, Jesse. We talk a lot about Persona. Mm-hmm. Do we? Uh, <laughs> do yes. we talk a lot about Persona? We talk, okay. I, I mean, what do you... We talk about it more frequently than people would expect, I think. Uh, from a bunch of fucking nerd weebs, yeah. <laughs> they, they knew they would never expect that from us. Well, but even then, I feel like we don't talk about other JRPGs in that same genre at oh, all. Oh, that's true. Because you, you are the JRPG guy. I'm not very much a JRPG. Yeah, and I feel like yeah, yeah. We, don't t I, we don't talk about other JRPGs, really. Just, oh, okay. this shortcut. Now, are you going to start talking about the Like a Dragon game? Or, like, what was the... I'm trying to figure no, out... No, like, no, 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 no. Where I'm going to go with that is... Butterfly, butterfly. Oh. Watch be quicker than that, boy. This guy's, this guy's caused a problem for me, Jesse. Oh, God. Can Fairweather friends beat this butterfly? Yes. Fuck yes. me. Uh, right. we, we can only reasonably play one JRPG. Like, ever on this channel? Within any, like, close time relevance. We've not talked about this before, but I feel pretty strongly about that. Like, I just can't handle it. And what JRPG is that? Well, right now, the answer, it's Fate, because that's what we've been playing. Oh, uh, <laughs> is, is that a JRPG? Like, I wouldn't say that's an RPG. That's kind of like a slash em up. Like a... <laughs> but I think that that's true. But all that matters is it's basically, it's a Japanese game with a lot of How many of times do I have to watch you try to run into this fucking box? Because there's fucking <laughs> items back there. There isn't. Yes, there is. Oh, well, then break the box. Not those ones, the ones that look like you can break them. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me I could do that before? I thought I'd I break know. if I just ran into them. I didn't oh, see that. I was just trying I to run you into just it. Being a crazy asshole, like trying to like <laughs> break the game. No, I didn't know no, what you were trying no. To do. I was trying to pick up that item over there. Who's that creep? Oh, dude, he is a creep too. Go like talk to him. He's gonna tell you to go find his sex doll. Let me, let oh, maybe we should do this side quest because, like, this is a sex doll side quest. Well, I think we have to then. Oh, my wife's body lies on Rosa Isabel Street. I know she's gone, but would you bring me her belongings? <sighs> Thank you. Her body is on Rosa Isabel Street. I Where's Rosa no Isabel one. Street? That was the level we just did. Like, if you go, I can direct you to where you okay. So, well, the point of all of this is... It'd be easier to go from the, the lamp, though, I think. The point, yes, we're finally getting to the point. The, the well, no, but wait a minute. Where am I? I hate Just how this the, gold tree is hanging out on my screen right now. <laughs> Dude, aren't you excited to pick more gold tree? I'm never going to do that. Um, go. It's just the other one, the first one. No, I said I remember where this is, but I don't. But I think I'm going to try my best here. <laughs> then go ahead. Tell me your point. You just have I'll just to... say left, right, straight. Like No, no, no. We're putting all into this right now. I think you're already going the wrong way. I think that's backwards. <laughs> all right, straight. I hear someone coughing. Yeah, that's the lady. 
She wanted you to do. She wanted you to like. Oh, get I can't her some swing in there. Or something like that. It's too narrow. She wants us to go find alcohol or something for her. Well, that's not gonna happen to fuel her addiction. <laughs> we don't need to fight these guys. But I can. We're just on the run here. It might be to the left there. It's by some stairs. Turn right. Now, now, go down the stairs. Behind you. Are there stairs behind you? Oh no, that's nothing. Where is it? No, behind you. At the top, turn left. And then there's a staircase going down. I can break these. Yeah, okay, I was wrong, I was wrong. Alright, keep going straight. I'll find this dress. I wonder what he's gonna do with it. Alright, so tell me your JRPG story. Huh? Oh, I honestly kind of forgot where I was. No, we, that we, were talking we have about to finish this thought because I'm My... going insane. No, 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 no. All I was going to say is... I guess we can't really play Persona 3 because we've already started to play Fate. Oh, I see. You mean one at a time. Or I suppose we could just stop playing Fate yeah. and then play it. Well, we'll see. Like, Fate does seem like it's getting a little, like, long in the tooth sometimes. We did just do an episode where we listened to Exposition. But, uh, like, we're going to ride that train for now. You killed a sex doll, Dan. No, we those aren't sex dolls. I thought we determined that they're just uh, Harlequins. Jeffrey? Okay, fine. I th No, because we talked about that quite a bit. We had an argument, didn't we? I can't remember wh where we came down. Oh, I didn't realize yeah, we'd I come don't know through either. this back way. Yeah, we don't need to kill these babies. Dude, I don't know where this woman is. I might just be making this up. And now we're out here. All right, I'm watching a video. Dude, this is an 18 long video. <laughs> this is an 18 minute long video to show me where this fucking sex puppet is. Wow, these maids followed me all the way out here, huh? And the babies, too. Ow! Oh my god, Jesse, things have gone. We're getting out of control here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm a fucking idiot, I think. I think that too, but can you give me some Dude, more I, actionable advice? I don't think we had to actually go back for it. I think it was forward. And <laughs> <laughs> but we did get to watch you get chased around by babies and a mate. So okay, okay. So we just need to go back to the where we were before? I think, I think that is the actionable advice okay. that I have for you. Yeah, you know... Jesse's an idiot. <laughs> I'll take it. I don't, I don't know. But you've, you've never played Persona 3. I've never played Persona 3. No, that's why it would be entertaining to play. Yeah, yeah, we could do it. We could definitely do this. But we would actually have to read dialogue for once. But that's fun dialogue to read because we get to go on dates and hang out with our friends. Mm, what if we both like a different woman, though? That's what he's going to make it funny, Jesse. It won't because I'll be upset. Because, Dan, you... <laughs> Anybody that watched the Hollow Cure Parade thing, Dan fucking tricked me. He did like I rewatched it, and Dan's just a schemester. He just he never wanted me to have my way. He never wanted to get any of my girls, and he would just like lie through his teeth like nonsense <laughs> at me. And I was not happy. About it. What nonsense did I lie? You just kind of dissuaded me from like say like you said, we just I, go down I, the I sewer. Wanted... Go down in the sewer. Oh, I thought you meant For I had just sake. had to go back that way some more. No, 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 go just go down in the hole. I didn't lie to you. Everything I said was true. Mm hmm. It, it is true very... that if we if we rolled that other banner, we'd get a bonus sooner than if we swapped to the other one. 
Yeah, and you know what they used to say? Mus when Mussolini was around, the trains ran on time, damn. Yeah, well, I know. That's why I'm not going to say that you're wrong and that I was kind of <laughs> tricking you, but I'm just pointing out that I didn't lie. Fair enough. What is that, like, I'll sewer accept. puppet? What was that? It was the dirty sewer boy. We have to find him. Dude, I hope it's not like that level of Resident Evil. Oh, it's just a crawly. Oi. Oh, he's, did you just throw something at me? Yeah, he threw poop at you. This is the sewer. This is where they get nasty. No, where do you think this the is... other... <laughs> oh, do I have sewer <laughs> puppet juice on me? Sewer puppet juice. All over that your That fucking nice dissonance. White I, uh... Mask. What would... Oh, I think for this hypothetical Persona stream, this would be mm. the rule, Jesse. Mm -hmm. If we disagree... We, it's just a, a flip a coin. Oh, this might be a problem. I feel like that's, damn, that's insane. Like, what if we disagree about something super important? We just have to flip the coin. Okay. What was I gonna say though? Oh, why Why do you think there's so many of these like dirty half puppet boys in the sewer? Like, what, where did their other half go? Like, how did they end up like that? Well, I feel like if they broke down, you just flush them down the toilet, but they won't fit all in one. So you got to cut them broke up down bit. from what getting like stuck in the fucking trash compactor or like getting no, like, no, 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 no. The... I'm saying like maybe they malfunction in other ways. So they just cut their legs off oh. so they fit down the toilet better. Oh, I see. It's like breaking down a cardboard box. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to fit. It, it's complete. That's so grim. That's so grim thinking about a future where if well, you need to dispose of your android. I mean, they're just, just crawling around in their own puppet shit. So yeah, it is pretty grim. That's so grim. Man, I should have dropped down that puppet hole back there. <laughs> Never drop down the puppet hole, kids. We, I kind of thought it, I thought this experts. would circle around or something, but it didn't. I'm not ready to leave the sewer yet. I need to see what's in the puppet hole. You know what I watched recently that kind of like sparked something in me that I hadn't thought about in a while? That guy's gonna try to get me. <laughs> He's gonna get you. Dude, I watched, ow, ow, like, ow. I, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to watch. Dude, you like flipped him over on his back like a turtle. <laughs> Do it again. He's dead now. I don't want to kill these guys. I feel bad about it. We should leave this one alive. No, don't. Oh. Yeah, you can't. He's been blessed. See, that's, you missed twice, Dan. Like, that should have been it. Like, you missed twice, like, that's a, you're done. Nah. Unless but I, I see someone, Mi like, forcing sex on him. Whoa, what is that? Oh, it's a fucking... Get down I don't from like there. that one. You, you have to get rid of these ones, because they remind me of the grudge. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone that hangs out on the ceiling gets blasted. I watched Mythbusters, wow. and I remembered how fine Carrie was from Mythbusters. Dude, she's so fine. Dude, why are you such a creep? <laughs> like, <laughs> what do, do you, you ever, mean? I'm sorry, Jesse. Do you ever stop and like think about how you're different than what a person <laughs> should be? I'm not. Like, you're I'm a just... fucking creep. I'm just a red-blooded American. You're a red-blooded creepy I, I... man. Well, I thought we were going to talk about, like, Mythbusters or a cool thing on the show, but you just jump straight <laughs> to borderline, like, oh, yeah, isn't that one person hot? And it's like, it's not about that. But she's so hot. Okay, fine. But we can talk. Which one's your favorite Mythbuster? <laughs> what? As far as, like, of which person? Oh, we could have gone that way at the beginning, right? Isn't this where we started? Oh, no, it's not. No. no it's not. I don't know where the sewer hole took us. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, get up the ladder, quick. Jamie Heinemann is oh. coming. <laughs> He's gonna get you. <laughs> oh, nice. Shortcut. To where? Not my job to know where. Oh, this is where the white lady was. Oh, it's this door. I knew it would open up one of these times. So which one's your favorite Mythbuster? 
actually okay don't you can answer that this is the question dan it's the age-old question you have to take one of the Mythbusters with you, and the other three are gonna come try to kill you. <laughs> like, which one do you take? Uh, the other three are gonna try to kill me? Yeah, like with some of the things that they've made in the Mythbuster shop. Like their Mythbusting Noble Phantasms. What are my options? Can you give me like the rundown of their stats and abilities? <laughs> okay, there's Adam Savage. Uh -huh. uh, his, he's like comparable to Jamie as far as like host, but he's like he's definitely like he's big in the um he's big in the atheist scene. With him and Tim Minchin are like good friends. Oh, They're big big atheist boys. Okay, that's powerful. Yeah. Then there's Jamie, who definitely looks like he could just take any of them in a fair fight. Like, mm -hmm. he's just like a, a beefy man with a walrus mustache. Yeah. And um, a beret. So he's so like the he's strongest tough. one. Yeah, exactly. Gotta bring nice. up the beret. And then there's uh, Care. Oh, there's more than three. There's There would be uh, four of them. I forgot. But didn't one there's of them Carrie. pass away? Well, <laughs> yes, but we were not going to say that. Like, that's not important to his stats. I think it's pretty fucking important to his stats, dude. Okay, fine. He's like a, a TL and, and mass, you know, like a zombie war. <laughs> now that's, right? you can't say that. I thought we just weren't going to include him. No, he's part of it. it okay, fine. They're all in their die. prime. Mm hmm. Exactly. Like probably Jamie is probably an old man right now. I, I could well, they're all not the in their stairs. prime, but how they appeared on the show. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Carrie, her statistics are that. What are we doing? We already know how you feel about her. You don't need to talk about it again. She's she's powerful because of her uh, her intelligence. She's very smart. <laughs> she's a smart woman. Um, and then there's uh, Grant. He, uh, he's he he doesn't have zombie powers he has uh i don't know what would you say grant's powers i think he's the smartest of like the sub three actually is that he's racist the, I think, I mean, <laughs> see anything i say would be like oh no that's just being racist because he's asian i th i think he's the smartest but then there's uh <laughs> carrie who is or no uh grant grant Who's oh, like, he's no, like, no, you the already cool done dude. Grant. Grant is the Asian. Who the, what's the name of the cool guy? I can't even think of his name. Fuck. <laughs> he's like, you know, like Miguel and Tulio from like um, El Dorado. He's like the Tulio of the group. Oh, okay, the cool guy. You always see the fuck cool is white his guy. Name? Mythbusters cat. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. Tori. Oh Tori, shit. Tori. Is this a sex bot? <laughs> Dan, this is a powerful robot. Do not underestimate this robot. I need you to answer the question right <clears throat> now, Jesse. Is this a sex bot? Uh I couldn't I get it's too quick. I can't get a good look at it. I don't know. Hard to tell. What's it wearing? Does it look like some kind of skirt? Hmm. Mm. It has like kind of a nice dress on. Like, I and, I, and it's, put, it moves. Woo! Would you make your sex bot wear that outfit? I probably wouldn't. No, that one's a bit tattered. But it's got. It looks like it's got more mobility in its joints than your average puppet, which makes me think. Oh. Like, look at how it moves. It's got more of a human-like range of motion. It's like when you get action figures, it has more points of, uh, of, uh, yeah. Now, rotation. the question is, is this a puppet that someone would have sex with, or is it a sex puppet? Well, if that's the case, then you are a sex bot. I am There's a sex a bot. That's the whole point of this Oh, this game. <laughs> I've lost the thread. I've already lost Can I kill thread. this puppet or not? No, when... don't kill the puppet. Oh, you say no. It, it's... And it's a noble cause because I bet that puppet drops quartz when you kill it, but you're not gonna get it. We're gonna miss out on a quartz because we don't kill that puppet. 
She's going nuts down there, dude. She wants you to kill her. Maybe we should kill her because she wants to be free from this moral coil. No. Oh my gosh, she's just oozing like goo out of her I fucking I think it's a cord. sex puppet. But isn't that a mercy for that one? No, you can't. You just want the courts now, Jesse. No, I'm being serious. This is a uh, this is a moral question. Like we we aren't killing sex bots because they don't deserve it, and one day they might be cured. Mm -hmm. But how can you cure that bot? What do you mean we just slap a new head on it? Okay, fine. One that it hasn't been tainted through vile acts. All right. So which MythBuster are you choosing? You fucking coward. I mean Jamie. Yeah, like he's, he's like a cool old man. He seems like the toughest in a fight. But like, this isn't just... Jesus. That did a lot more damage than I thought it would, those exploding puppets. This isn't just like a square up fist fight. This is like a, a down and dirty rumble with like gadgets and gear and gizmos. Like but, you know somebody's showing up in a mech suit and it's probably Grant. Again, I don't know if that's racist or not. <laughs> that was racist. I was intentionally... This, I said that, like, to be a little bit racist. The thing is, though, Jesse... Mm -hmm. They might be able to build gizmos, but so can he. But I know that he has, like, the gumption to kill a man. And he'll do it. Oh, uh, I see. And I don't know that the other guys will follow through when they... Oh, fuck. He has that look in his eye. Like, you, I think Jamie... Okay, I, I don't think we can say that. <laughs> I was gonna, I, can I say as a question, like, did, has Jamie... Jamie Hackman ever killed a man? Why can't like, I use I my think, pack? Oh, there we go. He, he looks like he might have killed a man at some point. He looks like he has the potential to. Yeah, for sure. I see what you mean, though. And he wouldn't do it. Right, like you, but it's, it's like Grant on. is coming at me, and I feel like I could the talk fast him down. Path is, yeah, to go right. Fast path is to the right. To get back to where. We're going. Well, the only path is to go right. The other path will never connect. Well, it takes you, yeah, down the puppet hole. I just want to make sure you're on track. The puppet hole is just a loop back to where we started. Now, you're discounting Adam though, but Adam's got some big like Joker energy. Like he could be like the the MythBusters Joker. But you know in real mean? life, the Joker is an, a non-factor and <laughs> threat that I'm not worried about. I'm much more he's afraid of someone. He's Batman. Oh. He's Batman's greatest nemesis. Dan. But in a comic book, in real life, he wouldn't be that bad. In real life, there's many more troublesome people. Like an uber terrorist. He an just uber terrorist, like psychopath that has no regard, but it has like impossible like motive. Just, like, he's just kind of like, ah, look at me, I'm the Joker. Just a funny guy. I'm gonna, pl I'm gonna have fun with the situation. I'm gonna mess with you. No, I'm much more worried about the villain who's like, I'm just gonna shoot you and take your parents' jewels. Now that's someone you gotta worry about. You're, you're more worried about, um, what's his fucking name? Robert Frost, or whatever his name is, is, is something like that. Like Robert Nick Frost, Cold. the poet. <laughs> He killed Batman's parents, and he's dead, so he can't sue me. <laughs> I can say whatever I want about Robert Frost. <laughs> Nobody can stop me. <laughs> a, a, a path d divided in the woods, and one of the ways was just like a normal path, but the other way had a, a nasty, dirty potato boy at the end that I just love so very, very much. That's my favorite Robert Frost by the way. He got a little freaky with that one. I think it'll let me blow up that thing without actually seeing it. Try it. What the fuck? You, you can aim it. You can aim it? Oh my I god, Jesse. I didn't makes, know this until this moment. It makes the quake symbol. <laughs> it's literally the quake symbol. Ah. Okay, it's fine. She knew that you could see her, so she was like afraid. Right. Man, we had 10,000 souls on the road, dude. I like to play a risky. I'm just gonna carry dude. these around for a little bit longer and not spend them. 
didn't Robert Frost, he definitely, like, everybody talks about his, like, his tale of two paths or whatever. <clears throat> but, like, oh, that's a Garfield. it doesn't go. <laughs> he definitely wrote a thing about a boy cutting wood who cuts his own leg off. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, I think the last episode's consensus we reached was that I should just let them kill themselves. Because they are sex bots. But I've changed my mind on that. I see. Because after I saw that other bot, I was immediately hesitant. But these ones, I feel nothing for doing it. It's if they're in a bit of fetish gear, but they're not inherently. Take a look at this road before you go any further. Like just scope out like what we're working with. Okay, there's a guy with a flamethrower. There's those things that throw stuff at me. Oh, there's another flamethrower guy. Also looks like there's a big thing up there, so I gotta come rolling down at me at some point. Almost like an Indiana Jones ball, one might say. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I got from it. Holy coming shit, Dan. What? You're never gonna believe this, Dan. I, I couldn't make this up if I tried, but I learned something new about the Indiana Jones game that's coming out. Oh boy. When is it coming out, by the Dan. way? Because I'm gonna have to finish I, this series up pretty quick. <laughs> I don't have a date. We'll get. We'll, I'll let everybody. We'll have a countdown in our next episode. But Dan, you're never going to believe this. Uh huh. Motherfucking Todd Howard is the producer on it. N well, no. Like really? He is. He is. He, he has, really? He, his name comes up in the the. Okay. He might not be the direct he, direct one, but he his name is in the credits, like the main credits when the trailer plays. It says from executive producer Todd Howard. Shit. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for another masterpiece. They were like, Todd, nobody wanted to play your bad space adventure. But you, you know, know what they everybody play. loves. <laughs> the thing that you told me about this that I have trouble believing mm -hmm. is that it is uh, in first person. Yeah, dude. We should do it. Oh my god, this is the second time that's happened. That played out exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, dude. We should have a, a big trailer watch, like as one of our videos. We just watch the Indiana Jones trailer. Is it out? Oh yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it. I don't think I'll watch it. Oh, okay. It, 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 I, I can 100% assure you it's in first person. He's like whipping shit and he's like shooting dudes. It's ex I'm gonna die oh the exact same God. way again. I know, I was just thinking that. I can't, I can't hit that guy in the corner, but I want to so badly. Maybe we should take these souls and level up our capacity so we can wear more armor. No, because the last time I upgraded my capacity, you bitched and moaned for about 10 minutes that I didn't upgrade my stamina twice. <laughs> Damn. You, okay, hold on. This is not true because I was, I wanted you, you, I said like once we get to a good level with the stamina, then we'll be set. So I just want to get that out of the way. But capacity is something we need because I think we need better armor. Okay, but my point is, Jesse, I have to, I can only upgrade, I can't upgrade both of them. And when I did upgrade both of them at the same time, you complained I didn't do stamina twice. What, what does that have to do with not upgrading capacity? Because my Just point like is the last, me? no, the last time I leveled up, Jesse, I upgraded. Did I upgrade capacity? I can't even remember if I did. But my point is, I didn't do stamina twice. And you were upset that I didn't just upgrade stamina twice. Mm -hmm. To which I said I upgraded it once at least, and now you're telling me to upgrade capacity. And my what I'm trying to say to you is, damn it, Jesse, I can't upgrade fucking everything. We only need like one more level of stamina, and then we can. Oh, we sh stop, 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 stop! Just shoot him with your fucking gun. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gotta draw him out, serpentine. Now you're fucked. Ooh. The Charge of the Light Brigade, my favorite Robert Frost film. Holy fuck it. Dude, that was pretty cool. 
This is a cool puppet. That, but that particular one, like I respect him. Cause he like got in close and decided to like try to bayonet you. But no, but then the fact that he like, he survived one charge, which no one ever does. And then he dodged that other one and rolled back and shot me. Oh no. Gotta blast him. I'm just here to blast babies and take names. I'm all out of names. Cool. <laughs> Why does it look Why like Why didn't they give the baby the puppet teeth? Oh god. Oh my god, that's like a big frame too. It's like taunting us. Oh, you could have a big frame, like a big boy. I don't think being slightly heavy is that big of a deal, but... I'm not gonna be slightly heavy. We found it! The black dress! But... It's just a puppet? What on earth is going on? That looks but like a similar dress to the one that the other one was wearing. So like, do we need to, like, short. take this dress or something, or just leave it? Uh, we just needed the information on the wife. I feel like we kind of let that guy down then, to be honest with you. Well, you have a big chance to lie, you know? Oh, good point. Verticality. But, like, he was saying this puppet's his wife. Like, how does that make you feel? It's better than being a sex pot. Is it not Dan? Do you think the puppet had a decision in the matter? The fact that he's <laughs> specifically went out of his way to call it his wife makes me think maybe. Oh, uh, do you remember this shortcut? This is a long time ago. Nope. There th we just did this at the beginning. This is the beginning oh, of the, okay. uh, the area. I think we should... Man, yeah, okay. Right. What, go back and spend our souls? Yeah, I would. This street's kind of... That's what makes it more fun, though, knowing that we could lose everything. Oh, okay, I see. But do you want to stop the episode before we go up the street? Okay. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. But it can't follow me like an Elden Ring. So, yeah, end the episode. All right, Dan. Raiders of the Lost Ark is my favorite Indiana Jones movie. <sighs> Raiders of the Lost Ark. So the first one. Mm -hmm. This is a difficult question. <laughs> I think in a lot of ways, Raiders of the Lost Ark is the best one. But you might like that weird Indian shit. <laughs> <laughs> the dirty, dirty Indian. Art I don't I don't think the last crusade is your favorite What I'm a big Sean Connery fan That's uh, yeah, but I don't know it just I just don't get that vibe from you Junior We named the dog Indiana <laughs> That's my Sean Connery impression. Which is the one with short round in it That's the second one It's the temple of doom I, I'm gonna have to say that uh, the answer is false. That's a lie. No, it's my favorite. Oh, okay. Because it is the best one. Like yeah. just like 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 with the story and the characters and what happens. But and that's you get this, we've but that's about why the I thought it times. might not have been it because that is the best oh, okay. one. And I thought you were gonna it come is. out with some like wild. Uh, wild thing, but nope, just a pretty normal yeah. answer. We're both Indiana Jones lore masters. Like we have to like agree on like the the objectively correct things. I think everyone I mean? knows that. Yeah, I love that part <laughs> where they find the Ark of the Covenant and it melts everyone's face. Oh, dude! Back when that series was grounded in reality. <laughs> All right, this episode's uh, over.